I actually can't believe this setup works. Yay. Hi guys. So I feel like I finally got down a summer makeup routine that I really, really like and that actually looks like myself and I can wear this makeup during the day and at night. So I wanted to show you guys it today. So this is my summer makeup routine, but honestly I've been doing this for the past couple of um, months. I really like it. So let me show you. So first is skin prep and I just first want to shout out under eye patches because I had them by this brand, Peter Thomas Roth, and they were like $55. So when I ran out, I just never repurchased it because they're really expensive. And then I found this brand on Amazon. I'll link these below. I'll link everything below. Um, but I found these on Amazon. I think they're like $15 for 30 under eye patches. And that's really good, I think anyway, and it feels really good. So I just wanted to mention these because I do under eye patches every morning. First is moisturizer. This is the uh, Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer. Normally I use the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense, but um, that's at my townhouse and I'm at my beach house. So my products, my skincare products are a little different here, but I like both a lot. They're very similar and I'll link both of them. Next is sunscreen and a lot of times I will just use this in place of this product which I'll talk about in a minute. This is a super goop glow screen and this is in golden hour so it's tinted. It's awesome and as you can see it just gives you instant color. Also I totally don't match my body right now because I put face tanner on my face and like not my body. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't match and that's just gonna have to be okay today. I probably should have skipped to this one, honestly, because I just don't match. It will settle down, like it will look more normal in a minute, just looks a little drastic right now. But this gives you a really great tint and a lot of times, like this is all I do. This is the Say Slip Tint. This also has SPF 35 in it. This is a tint and moisturizer. This is so amazing, like the best product I've ever used. This product I like to just use with my hands and I just take one pump of it and I kind of just press it into my skin. I kind of just treat it as like another layer of skincare honestly so I just press it in I try not to rub it it gives you such a pretty pretty glow um but it leaves your hands feeling like sticky so hang on I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm trying to like show you but you can see like it's really glowy and that's both from the sunscreen but whenever I put the say slip tint on top of it this is like shimmery almost and this is not so this just makes your skin look so healthy it's the best like I could not recommend it enough um, and then I'm just going in with a beauty sponge that I wet sorry I'm also using my viewfinder as my mirror because I don't really have a setup at my in my room here of like where to record or anything so I just have it on a windowsill and I'm just using the natural daylight I'm really blessed that it's a sunny day I made an iced coffee in like a tall skinny glass and there's something about this glass that makes this taste so much better. Okay, next is cream bronzer. I use the Rare Beauty Power Boost bronzer stick. This is really, really nice. It is so creamy and it blends out like a dream. With this one, I put it on my forehead and I put it high up on my cheekbones and on my nose. I just keep it up. I don't put it on my jaw or anything. And then I just take a stippling brush like this and I just kind of buff the cheeks upwards and then just buff the nose out. I don't really go crazy with contouring my nose. I just like it to be balanced. And then for my forehead, I blend it going upwards back towards my hairline. I try not to drag it down too much. Then once I have it placed where I want it and like it, then I just take the sponge and bounce everything in. I was doing the whole underpainting technique for a while and I really did like that. I think I even posted a video doing it. 
Um, it's a really good technique, but like, like when I found this routine and I just got a couple pro like all you need is a couple products that really change your routine for the better. And the Say Slip Tint and then the product I'm going to show you in two products is the other product that also just changed the game for me. So sometimes you just need to like experiment with products until you find stuff that makes sense for you. Okay, now onto my concealer, which I think concealer like changes my whole face and really wakes me up. So this is the MAC um, 24 hour Studio Fix Concealer. This is the shade NC30. It's very yellow based. This concealer is so good because it's really thin and it's really lightweight, but it's very full coverage and it does not budge like this. It says 24 hours and they mean it. So I just hit my high points of my face with this and then I blend it out with a dense concealer brush like this. I think this is from Crown. I don't know. It's really old. I try to just keep it where I put it and just bounce it. I don't drag it. I have really veiny eyelids and they're really dark so I make sure to always hit them with concealer too and that really changes my face. So don't you think concealer just like totally woke my face up? Then I take my beauty sponge again and I don't go over where I put like the concealer because I don't want to take away any coverage but if there's like any harsh lines between the contour and the concealer that's kind of just like what I'm hitting right here but I don't go under my eye with this because I like to keep that coverage. I'm really crazy when it comes to setting my under eyes. I don't like any creasing under my eyes, so I just set right away and then I actually go back in with cream products, which is against the makeup rules, but whatever. So I use one of two powders. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. This is a translucent powder. It's really, really nice, but it's loose. Another one that I really like is the Kosas cloud set powder this is in the shade feathery this is a pressed powder and it's nice i just think this one lasts a little bit longer dump some powder in a lid and i get a tapered powder brush and i just put this anywhere that i put the concealer so underneath my eyes on my eyelids definitely on my upper lip i always feel like my makeup just like vacates from that area and my smile lines. I don't like when I crease on my smile lines. I feel like it just really ages me. I have normal to dry skin, so I don't need to set my whole face, but if you do have more of an oily skin type, then I would just wait to set until all of your cream products are done because sometimes the texture will get weird if you mix powder with cream. But then I go in with a cream blush and this is the other product that has like totally transformed my makeup routine when you find the right products. So this is the Say Cream Blush. This is in the shade Peachy. I was so over the Rare Beauty cream blushes. I really tried to like them for a while and I did think I thought that I liked it for a while, but it was just a little too drying. Like it just, it was giving powder once it set down. And if I, I'm using a cream blush, it's because I want the dewiness of a cream blush. And then any other cream blushes were too sticky or they were too much of like a pomade instead of like a good cream. And then when I would find a dewy cream blush, it was impossible to blend out or I could barely use any product and I just looked like a clown. I had way too much blush on. So once I found this formula and this shade, it changed the game for me. I'm also over lying to myself and trying to do these like cute bubblegum pink blushes. I just don't like them on me. I really like peach and gold as a cheek combination and I just think it complements my skin really well. So I found what I'd like and I've stuck with it. So I tend to put this up a little bit higher on my cheeks. And what I also really like is that I can put on a normal amount of cream blush and it still blends out to look really natural and really normal. And I actually now like cream blush when I couldn't say that a little bit ago. So I put this on, I just think it looks really pretty, really, really dewy. And I just throw the extra on my nose and I'm just using like another big stippling brush with this. Okay, next up is a liquid highlighter. This is the Kosas Glow IV, and I really like it. This is in the shade Radiate. I put this on the back of my hand. This I just put on the high points. So I put it right here up on my cheeks, and I bring it under my brows. And on the days that I wear this versus the days that I don't, 
I can totally tell a difference and people actually always tell me that I look really glowy when I wear this product versus when I don't. I actually find that this pairs really nicely over top of powder because remember we powdered my under eyes and it doesn't create a weird texture. It just looks really natural. So now I take powder bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder, Blanc powder bronzer in the shade two medium. This is her airbrush. And I take this on a Morphe M530 brush. And I just take a little bit of this. I'm not very tan naturally right now, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with the bronzer. And then this I do focus on my jawline, my chin, and then down my neck. But I like this shade a lot. I find that it doesn't make your skin look muddy or orange. It's just really pretty. Then I switch to a blending brush. This is a Morphe M532. And I put this in my crease. It's really just to kind of like contour my eyes. I don't do much eyeshadow in the day to day. And then I also put it underneath my eye. It just, again, helps with like the contour and shape of my eyes. Powder blush, this is from MAC. I don't know the shade. It has like totally wiped off. I've had this for a very long time, but just a matte peach powder blush. It looks very similar to the Say blush. And this is with a Morphe M581. And I just put that wherever I put the Say blush. And this one I bring in a little bit more towards my apples. While the cream blush, I did not do that. And then just a little on the bridge of my nose just to keep everything proportioned. And last but not least for my face is a powder highlighter. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I take this with an Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight brush. So I take this and I just put it right over top of the Kosas Glow IV. And you can kind of just be as generous with this as you want. What I really like about this highlighter is that when you look at me dead on, you don't see like a dark gold that only reflects when the light hits it. It just vanishes. And then when the light hits it, that's when it shows up. That to me is a good highlighter. I've had plenty of amazing highlighters in the past so that when the light hits it, it looks freaking awesome. But then when you look at me dead on, you can see like a strip and you know it's highlighter, but it just doesn't look right. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I have my eyebrows microbladed, so I don't need to do a lot of the works to them. Um, and I just use a Morphe brow pencil. So it's just a very light fill in, nothing too crazy. This is just the Milk Makeup Clear Brow Gel, the Kush Clear Brow, if we're gonna be specific. And this one's nice because it's a tiny little wand. I think it's so freaking cutie. I was trying to do that in the viewfinder. Not happening. Now is where we just bring the eyes to life a little bit more. So I take MAC Nylon, which I went to Disney a couple weeks ago and it shattered. Okay, look at that. But I love this stuff and I use it every single day and I have since my senior year of high school. And then this is a MAC I think it's a 242 and this I use to highlight my eyes. So I put this on my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. And this really pops, especially when you have the glow IV underneath of it. This just really lifts up the eye. I went like really glowy today with the highlighter. I feel like I normally don't go this crazy glowy. Lastly for the eyes, is mascara so first i curl my eyelashes now for mascara i'm trying this one out and i think i really like it so this is the lancome lash idol mascara and i really like it it's actually the only one that i brought with me down to the beach it's a great layering mascara it does a really good job at first lengthening and then when you layer it then it starts to voluminize and it does a really great job and I definitely make sure to always hit the inner corners and really separate and hit these lashes because I feel like that just opens up your eye. And it wouldn't be me if you don't get mascara on your eyelids. So once that dries, I will move it away. Now, this is just like my day face. And this is where this is what I feel really good at. Um, it doesn't feel like a lot. I feel like I really look like myself, just a little more enhanced. And then honestly, for lips, I just wear chapstick. 
um, recently I've been using this one. This is the Vaseline Rosy Lips Pink Therapy. This one just leaves like the slightest little pink tint on your lips and I think it's really pretty. At night I put on a lip gloss. I really like the, um, hang on let me just get it. For the summer specifically I really like these two. Um, this one is the Buxom in white russian it's a sparkle and then this one is the too faced lip injection glossy um and it's just a peachy shade I just put them right over top like this and that's it so yeah um again i did not tan my body so my face i'm sure it looks a little bit darker than my body does right now give it like a couple weeks and hopefully i will catch up i was Oh my god, I'm like wearing my breakfast from this morning. I had like a very messy breakfast. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is again my like summer makeup routine with all of my current favorite products and stuff like that. I will have everything that I talk about linked down below um, in a couple different lists and stuff that makes the most sense for you guys. Um, I'll also like individually list out the products, but then I'll also group them together if you'd rather just shop like on Revolve or something. Like I know some people like to just have everything in one cart. So I'll try and find everything that I can like on one site, but it's like a mix between Ulta and Sephora. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Getting back to my MAC 101 roots. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, now that I'm at the beach, that means some beach vlogs will begin. And I know you guys really like those. So be on the lookout for it. But thank you guys again. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.